Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Redstone 4 for HoloLens. This is the first major Windows 10 update HoloLens is receiving since the anniversary updates, uh, which is technically the release the HoloLens shipped with. So it's technically the first feature update that HoloLens has ever seen. It didn't get the creators update or the full creators update, but it is finally getting Redstone 4 uh, and in it, not much, uh, but there are some refinements and improvements and just things that have been brought over from Windows 10 Redstone 4 on desktop and stuff. So the biggest change in Redstone 4 for HoloLens is the ability to move objects and windows around more freely. In the previous release, moving windows and objects was a clunky experience. You had to press on a button, which would then enable a sort of dedicated move mode. But as you can see here in Redstone 4, it works just like it does on desktop. I can just grab the edge of a window and resize it by doing the air tap gesture, or I can just grab the title bar the, at the top of the app here and move it around as you would expect. Uh, now, another improvement is the ability to use two hands at once to manipulate windows and objects as well. So as you can see here, I am now twisting and rotating this app with two hands. That wasn't possible before. Uh, twisting and rotating apps was a whole thing in the previous uh, release. I don't think you could rotate apps, not easily anyway. Uh, but yes, as you can see here, I am now able to sort of twist and zoom in and out, so make apps bigger and smaller with two hands and easily move them around with one hand as well. Uh, this is a huge improvement over what it was uh, in the original HoloLens release, so much so that this is actually an enjoyable experience now. Uh, moving objects around in the previous release was definitely not an enjoyable experience. It was uh, slow and I would describe it as rather clunky uh, but uh, in this release it, it's far better it's still not perfect of course the tracking and the field of view is not great so it sometimes feel, still feels a bit claustrophobic but being able to just make apps bigger just on the fly without having to go into a dedicated zoom mode uh, just makes the experience feel so much more fluid and, and it's just like manipulating windows on a desktop for example. Now you may have noticed the settings app for HoloLens now looks the same as it does on desktop and that's because yes this is the same Redstone 4 settings app that you can find on desktop. The same UWP updates applied to Redstone 4 on desktop should also be applied here as well which means we're also getting updated apps such as the new Photos app which is the same one found on desktop except it doesn't have all that weird sort of video Editing, editing stuff of course uh, but everything else is here uh, such as being able to view your OneDrive photos for example and getting the same sort of editing tools for photos and whatnot uh, and there's this new feature called place in mixed world which essentially just takes a photo in your OneDrive library or photos library and uh, places it like a picture in the real world as you can see here so I can now move this around and pin it to a wall resize it much like a real photo uh, so let's move this down here and pin it to the wall next to my desk. And there we go. That's now hanging out on my wall like you would expect a photograph to do. But yeah, this is the full on Windows 10 PC Photos app. If we go up here into the sort of settings area, you can see that, yes, it's the same universal app that's being shared across PC, um, Xbox, and I assume mobile still, if that's still being updated. Uh, yes, it even has dark mode, which will change when I restart the app and all of that good stuff. So yeah, that's the Photos app. Let's uh, minimize that and pin it to the wall a little bit more. There we go. It's now chilling out on my wall, just like a real photo, and it actually looks pretty cool. This release also includes the updated PWA support, which works just like you would expect. This is the Twitter PWA available in the Windows Store for desktop, running on HoloLens just fine. And it works just like you would expect. It looks almost identical to the desktop app, except sort of optimized for mobile. If you resize the window, it will obviously scale accordingly. But yes, this is it. I can do my normal Twitter stuff with this app. I will receive notifications that come through uh, via the PWA uh, service workers that are supported in this build. I can even do a normal tweet, as you would expect to be able to do from a Twitter app. And the keyboard here hasn't changed much, I don't believe. It still looks the same to me. There's still dictation options and stuff. Uh, but uh, yes, it's there and that works as expected. So again, I just, I just want to emphasize the improved support for moving objects and windows around. If we open up a hologram here from the holograms app, you'll see that being able to place this these objects uh, it's far easier in this release. Uh, so let's take a second to load this. Uh, the reason why the lots of this is taking a while to load is because um, my internet connection, unfortunately, is just not fast right now. Uh, but uh, th speaking of performance, actually, HoloLens itself, it feels a lot snappier with this release. Uh, I, I mean, the anniversary update for HoloLens was somewhat slow. Uh, but with uh, this release, it's a little bit faster. It's not incredibly fast but it's definitely faster so like popping up the start menu for example just feels snappier it happens almost instantly uh, and just pinning uh, clicking on tiles and opening apps uh, the app will begin to open and load almost instantly now whereas before it would feel like there was a slight delay 
um, in doing that. But yes, yeah, so as we see here, we're just opening up apps here. Let's move this to the left just for a second. Let's open up, um, let's put something else on my desk. Actually, no, let's put something on the wall. Let's put this shelf here on the wall. Let's see if we can do this first time. So yes, it's it just, it's slowly appearing because this is powered by the net and the, the net, it was just the net. It's powered by the web and, uh, and my internet, as I said, is incredibly slow. But here it is, it's now popped up. So I can use two hands to make it bigger because that's a tiny shelf right now. I could fit nothing on it. Let's make it more life-size. There we go, it's more like it. And uh, let's get up and just make sure it's up against the wall like that. And now let's give it a, uh, a double check to see if it's uh, close enough to the wall to look realistic. Ah, oh, yes, it looks fine. Finally, let's take a look at Microsoft Edge in this build. So uh, yeah, it's, it's still Microsoft Edge. Not much has changed in that regard. Uh, it uh, features the sort of slightly updated Fluent Design UI now. It doesn't have set tabs aside, which is kind of odd, uh, but there you have it, it's not there. Uh, other than that, it's got all the same under the hood improvements and changes, including again, the PWA support, which is always nice. So it's a little Windows Central here. Again, the reason why this is taking a while to load web pages and stuff is because um, my internet sucks right now. I basically have no internet, so I'm using uh, mobile data, which is not very fast. Uh, but yes, yeah, since this is Redstone 4, we do have the updated hub UI, which is slightly larger now and more easy to use and what's not. Uh, but yes, other than that, this is uh, Redstone 4 for HoloLens. Uh, there's lots of developer-orientated updates and stuff, uh, which oh, I won't, I'm not going to dive into in this video because that's boring. But there's lots of new APIs and things that developers can tap into and uh, take advantage of. So yes, this is my little setup I've built here uh, with HoloLens just temporarily. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.